If you own a drone and have a Part 107 certification and are looking for a way to make more money outside of taking a simple few photos and videos for a few hundred dollars, then you need to watch this video and learn more about drone photogrammetry. For the last five years, I've been offering drone photogrammetry as a service. Whether my client is a real estate investor wanting to keep tabs on a development project, an engineer needing to get precise measurements on asphalt in a parking lot, or a surveyor wanting to get an up-to-date map of an area they're working on, offering the service has generated me well over six figures since I started offering it back in 2019. So with that being said, let's get straight into it. This is a full beginner's guide on drone photogrammetry. And also stay tuned to the end of the video to learn how you can win a DJI Air 2S Fly More kit for free. All right, so what is drone photogrammetry? Well, in a typical drone photogrammetry deployment, you fly a drone over a target area and take a photograph every few feet. The best way to do this is to use an automated software or a data acquisition software to do this, which we'll touch on later on in the video. Now, photogrammetry in itself doesn't necessarily require the drone. The drone is just the tool that's being used with a camera on top of it to capture the photos. Photogrammetry in itself is just a ton of photos being stitched together to create 2D and three-dimensional models. These 2D and 3D models are being used all over the world for many different applications. Some of those applications work a whole lot better when you use a drone to capture those photos, which is probably why you're watching this video. So like I said, once you've captured all of the photos, you put it in a software. Once it's in the software, it extracts information such as the distance, area, and elevation from the 2D photos. The software then analyzes the overlapping images and creates a point cloud, which is a collection of data points that define the shape of an object. In this case, the object can be a land, building, or whatever you flew the drone over. So once you've stitched all the data and created a 2D and 3D model, what can you do with those models? Well, after creating a 3D model, artists and designers can optimize, enhance, and edit the model for movies, video games, architecture, and various other projects. In the world of drone photogrammetry, these models can be used for high quality surveys, inspections, and more. A great example of leveraging that kind of data is from a project that I had worked many years ago, where we pulled the volume of dirt from a stockpile and helped save a client over $60,000. You can check out that video right here where I talk a little bit more in depth about it. All right, Dylan, that's great and all, but what drone should I buy when I'm first getting into the industry? Well, when looking for a drone to buy to get into drone photogrammetry and mapping, you have three main categories to choose from. You've got your beginner drones like the DJI Mini 2 or Auto Evo Nano Plus. These drones are relatively cheap drones, but will allow you to get up in the air and flying automated missions, believe it or not. But these drones are even being used on large scale projects if you can learn how to maximize their capabilities. The second category is your advanced drones. Drones like the DJI Air 2S, Auto Evo 2 Pro, and even the Skydio 2 Plus. What makes these drones advanced drones is their higher resolution cameras, longer flight times, and ability to fly with third-party applications to complete more complex missions. Now, if you want to get a drone within the advanced category but not spend so much money, then look at the second-hand market. Drones like the DJI Mavic 2 Pro and Phantom 4 Pro are also great pickups. Just know that they aren't supported by DJI anymore, so if you need to get any accessories like batteries and propellers or really anything else, then you're gonna have to go secondhand or even third-party companies. And just know that they're probably not reputable, so your mileage may vary depending on how much you spend with third-party accessories. Just be aware of that but they still do work with a lot of the data acquisition softwares that exist out there. And as for the last category, and really only the category that you should consider if you wanna make this a full-time gig is your enterprise drones. Now, don't worry, most people, when they first hear enterprise, they're thinking, oh my God, I gotta spend $5,000 plus on a full setup. Well, believe it or not, DJI finally has our back for once. And my favorite drone, the DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise has quickly taken the industry by storm with its far superior capabilities when compared to its competitors. Your enterprise category of drones will give you capability like longer flight times, better sensors, and even RTK capability for a super precise data capture. And to be honest, I highly recommend the DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise. I'm not being sponsored at all. I actually paid for my own DJI M3E and I use it on most projects now. I don't even consider taking out any of the other drones that I have in my truck with me. It's just really the Mavic 3 Enterprise. And then a few of the other drones in this category is the DJI M30T, DJI M300 RTK, Wingtra 1 Gen 2, which is a VTOL, and Altau Evo 2 Pro RTK. And the last thing I wanna talk about when it comes to picking your drone, yes, I gave you three different categories between your beginner, advanced, and enterprise, is 
It really boils down to what your client is looking for. Now, not every single project is going to require an enterprise style drone. You can use an advanced or a beginner and generate high quality data, which we'll touch on later on in this video, at a fraction of the cost of buying an enterprise style drone. Again, it comes down to the deliverables and what your client's looking for. Your drone is not your business. Your business is the service that you can provide. So just remember that one. So once you have your drone picked out, you'll need to find a software to capture your data. Now in the realm of software for drone photogrammetry and mapping, there's a distinct difference. You have your data acquisition software and then your data processing and analytics software. Some companies make software for both sides where others focus on just one specific function. For data acquisition softwares, you have a handful to choose from. On the free side, you have DJI Pilot 2, which comes standard with all DJI Enterprise Series drones, Matte Pilot Pro, which is perfect for starting out, and Pix4D Capture if you intend on getting a DJI Phantom 4 Pro or Mavic 2 Pro. There's a few other free options out there too, but these are ones that I recommend you taking a look at. And then on the paid side, you have Drone Deploy, Drone Lake, UGCS to name a few. The paid data acquisition softwares unlock more capability, like additional automated flight plans such as 3D Capture with Drone Deploy, vertical capture on UGCS, and dynamic automated video flight paths on DroneLink. You don't need to use a data acquisition software to produce photogrammetry models, but they sure will make it a whole lot easier to get consistent data for processing. Again, just remember that photogrammetry in itself is just adding photos to get stitched together. Your data acquisition software will just make that process a whole lot easier to produce a better model in the stitching process. Like your data and acquisition software, you have data processing and visualization software where you have many to choose from. Each one of these softwares comes in different shapes and sizes. The purpose of these softwares are to combine and stitch all the photos into useful deliverables for your clients to use for their specific application. Let's start with the free ones. Open Drone Map or WebODM is a great tool that will generate your basic file types like point clouds, orthomosaics, and more. It uses the power of your computer to do all the processing. If you're looking for a cloud version of this, then take a look at Maps Made Easy, where you can process your data for free in the cloud. You can check out a video that I made about Maps Made Easy here. Now, for your higher end software, you have Drone Deploy, which is a turnkey solution to do both data acquisition, processing, and visualization. Outside of Drone Deploy, you have DJI Terra, Pix4D Capture, Reality Capture, to name a few. Again, all of them at their core do all the same basic processing. It just, they have different deliverables that you can do different capabilities, and different quality. So you can search through the list that I have linked down below to see which one fits your needs. Capturing data with your drone is not the only thing you need to take into consideration when selling this as a service. You also need to make it geographically accurate, and there are a few ways to do this. And again, it depends on your client. If they just need something visually accurate, then you can skip this step. Using RTK will allow you to correct your GPS data in the drone, which can generate centimeter level of accuracy for your deliverables. There are both free and paid options for this depending on where you live. The second way to generate highly accurate geographical data is by using GCPs or ground control points. These are physical locations marked on the ground that you tie your aerial data to. To learn more about ground control points, I made an entire YouTube video on it, so check it out here. Now that you know the basics of drone photogrammetry and mapping, what are the industries that utilize this kind of data? Drones in construction and developments have quickly proven to be a real vital tool for the entire process as it allows all parties involved to have an up-to-date, top-down view of what's exactly going on on the property. With the ability to leverage drones to create almost real-time Google satellite imagery of the property, the developer, contractor, and even investor can make real-time decisions throughout the lifetime of the project. Another industry is engineering firms. Engineering firms all over the world not only have to manipulate new undeveloped projects, but they also need to be able to work on pre-existing ones as well. Photogrammetry is a very common workflow in an engineer's process, so now being able to use a drone to generate their photogrammetric models has helped bring their costs down tremendously as the cost of data acquisition has gone down significantly. Construction and engineer firms are just a few of a dozen industries that utilize this kind of service all the time. Now, for the part of the video that you've probably been waiting on, how do you get a DJI Air 2S Fly More kit for free? It's pretty simple. There's two things you gotta do. The first thing is subscribe. I make these videos for free, so that's the least you could do to support me. And the second thing, and this is really important, is to make sure to get our free ebook on the entire beginner's guide to drone photogrammetry that will automatically enroll you into our giveaway system, which we're gonna be running for the next 30 days and making an announcement next month in April, which you'll see the date right here. And it's as simple as that. Just subscribe and get our ebook for free. And just know that I will not be doing the giveaway in the comment section of this video. So beware of the trolls. There's tons of them. I will do my best to get them out of here. 
but I will be emailing you directly if you're the winner and I'll also announce it on an upcoming YouTube video. So if you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a like, subscribe to see more videos from me in the future. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.